Hi, William Huin here. Uh, today I want to talk about the worst part of my favorite games. Not too long ago I made a video talking about my top 50 games of all time. I'll link it in the description, it's a pretty long video. Um, this one won't be that long. But in the top 10, I decided to take some parts I didn't like about the game and talk about it here. So let's let's start this out. The first one I want to talk about is Scorchbringer. Scorchbringer is my favorite game of all time. It's a super fast-paced roguelite. Playing this is crack cocaine. Uh, I've been speedrunning the game. I've platinumed it three times. And uh, I cannot get enough of Scorchbringer. The base game features five realms you, could, you have to go through to get to the ending. And at some point, you can unlock a sixth one, a sixth realm. And oh my god, do I hate this one. Thankfully, the speedrunning community has a category of just the first five realms, so this is what I'm running. This is pretty rare that I do the sixth one. Uh, all, all the game is based around zipping around, shooting, and, you know, parrying enemies. It's super fast. It's And in, in the sixth realm, you kind of have to don't move because everything will hurt you. Um, the walls are hurting you. The enemies are hurting you. There's bullets everywhere, but you cannot zip around to evade them so you can have to stay on place and and parry this is this is like a very different type of gameplay in the game that you can have to to use to get through this one and uh, this is definitely the part that I like the least it's still you know it's still freaking amazing it's called ringer but you know uh, sixth realm is not my favorite uh, Alright, the second one I want to talk about is in Nier Automata. If you haven't played Nier Automata, uh, you know, go play it, maybe skip that part because I'm gonna go into spoilers and playing this game without being spoiled is definitely for the better, but uh, anyway, you, you've been warned. I'll, I'll do the little chapter thing on YouTube so you can just go to the next game. So, at some point in Nier Automata, the character, one of the characters you play, 2B, gets infected by some type of virus. Uh, and she's an android, so it's like a computer-type virus. And slowly but surely, she's losing some of her options. Uh, she's losing, at some point, she's losing the ability to attack, she's losing the ability to jump, she's losing the ability to run, and so, and, and there's still a bunch of enemies trying to kill you, so you have to evade those enemies, you cannot really fight, sometimes your controls gets unresponsive. It's such a pain every time. Every time I think about, oh man, I should replay Nier Automata. What a fantastic game, and it is a fantastic game. Then I, I, I get close to that part and I'm like, oh gosh, I need to do this. I need I need to survive up to the, the bridge to get the cutscene and move on. And my god, do I don't like this, this section in Nier Automata. Um, it's the only part I don't like. This is such a perfect game. The music is crazy good. Uh, I love the visual, I love the characters, I love the theme that the game uh, is talking about. It's, it's, such, it, it's such an amazing game. But man, that part, that part is rough. Let's move on to the next worst part of one of my favorite games. Uh, the karaoke song in Wanted Dead. Wanted Dead is made by X Team Ninja Devs, uh, who've made well, they didn't make. They worked on Ninja Gaiden, and probably Devil Third because Wanted Dead is not that far from a Devil Third, but a, a, a good version of it might be a hot take. I don't know. Uh, I love Wanted Dead. It's an action game. You slash, you, you know, you slash, you slice and dice, you you shoot a lot. There's a bunch of weapon, and the main character Hannah Stone has that katana that that is really crazy fun to use. But anyway, uh, the game is divided by stage. 
you have five stages to go through, and in between each stage, you have some kind of Yakuza-like minigame. Uh, there's one that you need to eat ramen, but it's basically like a Dance Dance Revolution type of, of, of gameplay. But there is one that is... and, and those, <laughs> those minigames are unskippable. And the karaoke song, it's 99 Luft Balloon. This is the only song you can get to the karaoke. And it lasts four minutes and you cannot skip it. And every time I get to this section of the game, I just, you know, I just give up. I don't even try. I put the controller down and I go grab myself some tea or some drink or something. I, I, I just don't care. I, I just wait for it to be done, to be over. This is, you know, if there is one last update we can get to this game, I want a stage select. This is what I want, because the gameplay in the stages is so good. This is such a fun game to play. But, oh my god. Please, let me skip the minigame. And there's a bunch of story se segment too that fortunately are skippable. But I wish I would not even have to skip them. I wish I could just choose the stage I want to play and play it. So, that, that's it for my third one. Uh, the next one is in Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 is my favorite Resident Evil game of all time. Love Resident Evil 4, played it on multiple consoles, multiple iterations. I have it to play the remaster though, I haven't done that yet. But um, yeah, at some point you uh, play as uh, the side character, Ashley, who cannot really fight, but that's fine. You have to maneuver around the enemies or throw them some lanterns to make them burn. Uh, you know, it, it's fine. But at some point there is a slide puzzle. And I really suck at puzzle type stuff in my games. And this freaking slide puzzle, man. This is... It, it's... It, it, to, for me, maybe not for everybody, let, let me know. But for me this is so hard every time I get to this section. And I've done the game, like I've played the game 30, 40 times maybe, I don't know. I've played Resident Evil 4 a whole lot. And every time I come up to this freaking puzzle, I need to open up YouTube, go grab a walkthrough of this section, and put the gameplay, put the video at like, you know, 0 0.5 speed, and get over that puzzle. I, I so wish it would not exist. I, uh, God, I hate this puzzle in Resident Evil 4. Uh, but let's go on the last one. The last one is from Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Uh, pretty much my favorite Metroidvania game. Uh, it's made by Koji Igarashi, who made uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And I know this is a hot take, but uh, I vastly prefer Bloodstained over uh, Soten. But um, anyway... Uh, there's a part in this game, there's many zones, you, you go through different, you know, area in, in the map, and at some point you get into the Inferno Cave. So, everything, everything is fire, everything is lava, and you're trying to jump over stuff, and you get hit by enemies, and there is, you know, contact damage with the enemy, and then you fall in the lava, and then you lose a bunch of health trying to get out of the lava. Oh my, th this section is always super annoying to, to go through. I'm really trying, when I, when I play, at some point, I've played the game for a very long time, and at some point I just uh, played the randomizer mode, and I played the randomizer mode where I would just beat the non-final boss, and so I would skip all that section, and uh, I've played dozens and dozens of randomizer runs uh, in Bloodstained, ju just to avoid this freaking area of, of the game. But uh, that was it. Let me know. Uh, let me know what are your worst part of your favorite games. Uh, no games is perfect, and there's always something that 
you know, you, you would like to not be there in your games. So let, let me know. Let me know about yours. Those were mine. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. And uh, now that, that that's enough. Go do something else. Go play games. Bye-bye. <laughs>